Well, uh, the latest news in Delhi is that the French foreign minister is there, and uh, he has made a statement saying that France supports India in its war against terror, and action should be taken against the various terror groups that operate from Pakistan, Jaish al Muhammad, the Lashkar al Taiba, etc., etc., etc. He has also mentioned the fact that France will try its best to get Maulana Masood Azhar banned in the United Nations. And uh, he has said that he will try and do this despite the fact that China is preventing this from happening. Now, uh, with us here is Kalkov, who has some information and some idea of the history of terrorism in Europe. And uh, being a senior journalist, uh, he would like to speak on this issue. Give us some idea of the history of how France is handled Do you think uh, the French are the right people to speak on handling terrorism? Mm, yes and no. There's a certain, first of all, it's commendable that they're finally taking this action, but look what it's taken to get them to do this. France has been the victim of numerous terrorist attacks over the last basically 18 months, roughly. The French are great at responding to terrorist attacks after people have been killed. They're very lousy about being proactive and heading them off. The proof of that goes back to the 1970s after the Israeli athletes were murdered at the 1972 Munich uh, Olympics. Mossad told France, if you don't clean up your act, we're going to do it for you. And as history has shown through the Mossad operations, they killed several PLO terrorists on the streets of Paris. You may remember that uh, Ayatollah Khomeini had headquarters in France. He spearheaded his Islamic revolution from France. So it's commendable the French are doing this. It's commendable that any nation should do it. India cannot operate in a vacuum. It needs global support. The problem now is going to be China. China will continue to block anything that punishes Pakistan, not necessarily because China supports the, the idea of, of uh, saying no, it's just that it's an ex another excuse to poke India in the eye. China's uh, goal has always been, ever since the Communist Party took over China, to do everything it can to make sure that nobody uh, rises up to be a competitor. They want world domination, certainly domination in Asia, and they view India becoming prosperous and pulling ahead and continually improving as a strategic and economic threat. So China's going to continue to play games, and the weakness is in the current system. As India has correctly pointed out, the United Nations Security Council needs to be overhauled. It doesn't work anymore. The Cold War is over. Right now, as long as you've got Russia, China, France, U.S., as the kingmakers, including Britain, if they don't all agree, one can veto, destroy everything. It needs to be expanded to include India so that uh, th these types of bottlenecks won't happen. Pakistan has no right to be a part of the UN Security Council because it continues to support terrorism. The idea that, well, they have a right to be because they're a nuclear power doesn't cut it. They have to stop supporting terrorism. Pakistan's not going to do that. So this is an interesting move. It's going to move it inches forward, but it's not going to be a decisive move. Basically, what you're saying is that we should get, expect too much from all the French foreign ministers. No, but it would help if all the nations move to put pressure on China. That's the key, because China is going to be the one to play spoiling the party. Thank you, Gail.